Hey there lovebirds, today I'm going to show you how to create a stunning wedding website that's sure to impress your guests. Let's dive in and start building the perfect digital space for your special day. A wedding website is essential in today's digital age because it serves as a centralized hub for all your wedding details, from RSVPs to venue directions and registry information. It ensures that your guests have easy access to everything they need, reducing the stress of last minute questions and confusion. Plus, a wedding website lets you showcase your love story, share your favorite photos, let everyone know how you met, and create a special space that's all about you too. To create a website, all you need is a hosting plan and a platform to build it. For this tutorial, we will be using our powerful AI website builder, which is a perfect tool for the job, even if it's your first time creating a website. All right, let me show you how to get a hosting plan first. First thing you gotta do is click the link in the description and you will be taken to our landing page where you can see our website builder plans. Here, let's use the business website builder plan to get access to all the extensive AI tools to make the process as easy as possible. Then pick a subscription period. I recommend the 12 months or higher to get a free domain name for the first year. Now create an account using your email or just connect through Google and select a payment method. Click here and apply the WB10 coupon code for an extra 10% off your purchase. Once you complete the payment, you'll be taken to the website builder setup. So click here to start creating. Select the website type as a wedding invitation and write down the names of the couple getting married in this field. In the description field, write down the information about your wedding you want to showcase on the website. You can also describe what you want your website to look like. Check out our example below the field to help you out and try to be as thorough as possible for the AI to generate the best results. Here in the personalization settings, you can choose your style and color palette for your website. Once you're done, click create website, wait a moment or two for the AI to work its magic and you'll get a preview in no time. If you are not quite satisfied with the result, you can always click back to AI form over here and generate a new website. If you like what you see, enter the site editor and let's start customizing. The website should already feature all the essential pages by default. So if you're happy with the layout, swapping out the demo content with your own can be done in just a few clicks. If you need to move things around a bit, no problem at all. Just click and drag any element like text, image or button to where you want to place it. If you want to change the background, select it and click edit section to edit or remove the image. To make it look fancier, you can add gradients or even a video background from the huge library of high quality stock videos available. As for editing the headline, you can double click on it and write your text over here. If you're feeling a little bit stuck, no worries. Our AI writer tool will help in times of trouble. Simply click on the text container, select AI writer and describe what you want to tell your guests. If you want to remove an item, let's say this image over here, click on it and hit the trash bin icon. To add new site elements like images, text or buttons, go to the add elements menu on the left side toolbar and drag what you want from the list. And now let's tackle one of the most crucial parts of the website, the RSVP form. This is your essential tool for gathering information such as who's coming, any dietary restrictions they may have or special requests. The page should already have a contact form, but if it doesn't, you could just drag and drop one from this menu over here. Then click on it and select edit form. Now feel free to change up the questions or add new ones. You can see your changes live on the page as you make them. Once your website goes live, keep an eye on your inbox. You'll get an email for every new RSVP. And if you want to see all the responses together, just click this button right here. From there, you can export all the info you need as a CSV file, and you can easily delete any responses you don't want to keep. Simple as that. Next, I'll show you how to add a new gallery page to the site. Simply go to Pages and Navigation and click Add Page. Here, you can choose to create a new one with AI, build from scratch, or select a template. I'll pick this one that displays multiple pictures. This way, you just have to rename the page, edit the copy, and change any image by clicking this button. There are also multiple image customization options such as overlays, shapes, and animations. You can access the image settings by double clicking any image you want to configure. And here's another tip, you can make pages on your website private. This is perfect if you want to restrict access to certain content. Just go to pages and navigation on the left toolbar, click on that gear icon next to the page and select password to set it up. 
Collect the toggle button, set the password you want, choose the page design and finish by hitting save. Now, only those with the password can access the page. All right, since we've got the structure down, now let's spice things up and add some extra functionality to make it even better. Every big day needs a little excitement, so why not add a countdown timer to your site? It's fun and it gives your guests something to look forward to. Don't worry about the technical stuff either, it's super easy to do. First, you'll need to drag the embed code element to where you want your timer to go. Then open a new tab in your browser to access logwork.com. Here, you can generate a free customized code for a countdown timer. Once your timer looks perfect, just click the green button to get the code. Now, copy and paste it right into the embed code element on your website and that's it. You've got a countdown timer ready to go. All right, remember, before you publish your website, preview your site once again to check if everything looks and works as it should. You can see how the site looks on both desktop and mobile screens by toggling between mobile and desktop view using these buttons over here. If you need to adjust anything for the mobile view, just drag and drop elements until everything's perfect and do know that changes you make in the mobile view won't change the desktop version at all. This part is crucial as a lot of your guests will probably access your invitation through their phones. I also recommend hiding your site from search engines for improved website privacy. You can do that by going to the SEO settings and turning this toggle on. This way, only the people who know your site address can access it. And on that note, don't forget to claim your custom domain name that you got with the hosting plan. To do that, just hover over this part and click connect your own domain. Then you'll be redirected to HPanel to claim it. Once everything is set, just click go live to publish it. And that's it, your wedding website is officially out there. Now you can send the website link to everyone on your guest list. And that's how you create a wedding website. Was there something we missed? Let us know in the comment section below the video and I'll be happy to help you out. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to Hosting Your Academy for more tutorials like this in the future. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.